Louis Panagopoulos back here with you. We got the shoot fight, the NBW shoot fight. It is the Ultimate Fighting Championships. Bob Lucarelli, I believe he was in Ultimate Fighting Championship number two, going back to the Gracie days against PKF kickboxing world champion David Tanner. That's right, a shoot fight, UFC style. Momo, we got a couple of different styles meeting. Uh, UFC styles, definitely Bob Lucarelli. Uh, David Tanner's a kickboxer. He's traveled around. He's been to Taiwan and, and Taiwan and China and Japan. He's been all over the world doing his kickboxing thing. Hey, we're watching like a Hoist Gracie match here. Uh, you know, I'm in the world of professional wrestling. I don't know why NBW Commissioner Orvin Bennett signed this even, but uh, I guess these are real athletes. Is that what you're going to tell me? Uh, well, they shoot fight, which basically means it's all balls out. No, no holds barred out. You offended me, mama. Not saying that uh, you, sex executioners, doesn't do this kind of stuff in the ring. I'm just simply saying that these guys uh, break each other's arms and don't really care about it. So we're going to see lots of submissions. Are we, are we going to see some blood and gore and some filth and some veins and some white and green and red blood cells shooting all over the audience or what here? These guys are going to fight until one guy says, I quit, basically. Well, I, I, I'm gonna put my uh, I'll put my money on the guy with the white tights there. He looks pretty good. What, what's his name? That's David Tanner, the kickboxing world champion. On top right now, giving him a couple slaps to the head, giving Rob Lucarelli a couple shots to the head there. Yeah. It, now that this kind of match, I was reading the press on this. It looks like there's no pinfall, right? They don't do any pins on this, huh? You have to be. That's right. It's a basic uh, tap out or I quit type of situation. No pinfall. You don't go for your normal three count. You're gonna have uh, rounds. There's gonna be different rounds with 10 second rounds. 10 seconds in between each round. There's gonna be three different rounds. And uh, right now we have nice David. Scissors. Look at this here. That's right, David Tanner, right in there. Rob, right on top of him. Looked like he was trying to go for a pinfall. He knows better than do that. Oh, takedown there. Incredible. Takedown. Uh, you know, I, I do know some amateur wrestling. I'm not familiar with these shoot fights. David Tanner with a lock on the leg right there. Rob gets out of it. The guy's feeling each other out a little here. Tanner's sacrificing uh, about 100 pounds of Rob Lucarelli as well as about a three inches in height. I don't see where the shoot comes from, but it looks like loads of fun being in there doing them their kicks and stuff. I must say, this is different. David Tanner using his kickboxing ability there, giving some stiff kicks right up onto Rob Luc Lucarelli, who takes him down. Well, I understand this Rob Lucarelli is from the world of ultimate fighting, huh? He's a big, tough guy. Uh, we know what this guy comes in at. How, how heavy is he? I believe he is coming in at a hefty 301 pounds. He is 6'2", also. David Tanner, 5'11", 210 pounds, from Nashville, Tennessee. But a uh, little comment here. He's a hometown man, Rob Lucarelli. He's from Schenectady, New York. And that's where these people are from, IUE Hall, Schenectady, New York. I feel bad for him. Nice spinning kick by David Tanner. This uh, kickboxing champion's really showing me some stuff here. They got the challenge in this match. Isn't David Tanner Rob Lucarelli? I'd have to say it's hot rod Todd. He's not used to this. He's used to wrestlers flying all around weapons in the ring not these two guys are uh, pummeling each other and hugging each other on the mat nice spinning heel kick by david tanner there uh, looks like they're going to the yeah they're definitely going back to the rounds while uh to their corners while they're having their uh break here i'm going to tell you that rob lugarelli is a shoot fighter and he started his professional career as a boxer back in 1987 when he became the adirondack heavyweight champion and the empire states games heavyweight silver medalist he's a fourth degree black belt and also has training in uh I believe a martial arts known as Filipino, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and shoot fighting. Many might recognize him from No Holds Barred Ultimate Fighting Championship number two back in 1994 where he fought against World Maya Thai boxing champion Orlando Witt. Yeah, I, saw, I think I saw that he got his uh, his ass kicked hard there in that match, didn't he, uh, Sex Executioner? Mama got his ass kicked hard or hardly kicked, I don't recall. I'm just checking it out. It seems like an unfair advantage here. Rob's got his buddy in there giving him a drink of water. David Tanner right back in there with the high-flying kicks. Definitely going for that full round kick, which he's used to in the kickboxing style. Both men locked back up again. Referee Hot Bod Todd surveying the situation. Whoa, David Tanner going to the ropes. He looks like he's trying for a pin. Both men obviously knowing better, knowing the rules, knowing tap outs necessary to win this type of match. Well, if they can bleed a little of uh, the two sports together, shoot fighting wrestling and professional wrestling, uh, I think that's what they need to make this match work. 
Tanner's got uh, Rob Luca Riley down right now. What do you think of this matchup, Sex Kutcher, so far? Mama, there's nothing I like more than a couple of guys rolling around on the mat trying to make each other give up. But I'd have to say I'm also impressed by these high-flying kicks here. Rob Lucarelli's trying them kicks like David Tanner does, but not quite as quick and not nearly as effective. Definitely, you're noticing the difference between uh, your regular style of uh, pro wrestling match and the shoot fight you're having right here, where both men are measuring each other out more, not as uh, not as intensely into basically beating each other's head, but more into submitting each other into the match. Yes, you could call that a Mexican leg takedown. It looks like they got him in some kind of uh, figure four, maybe. I don't... It, it looks to me like both men have each other's legs, so they're both getting the brunt of that. David Tanner taking the initiative to turn around on that one. So it looks like he's got Ankle more lock. leverage. Ankle lock into the ropes. Now the referee's got to break this. And uh, it's hot by Todd Taylor, so I don't know. That's right. Hot by Todd breaking that up there. Both men getting back up, preparing for their stances. As you see, both, both arms up, ready for some defense. David Tanner goes down for a leg takedown. Well, Mama, uh, in a normal wrestling match, that's a good way to go about it is taking out the legs. He's got to take the big man off of his feet, keep him on the mat where he can't move. If he can do that, then uh, I think I can win some money on him. Are you telling me you put money down on this match? Well, I, I, I'd like to see this Tanner guy win, I think. Uh, he's, he's a little smaller, and that other other fat guy's going to fall down and uh, break his knees and stuff, and that'll be all she wrote, I think. So you're telling me you put money on this match? That's... That, that's like Pete Rose putting money. You know, you're a part of the organization here. How can you be betting against men? Especially, you know, shoot fight guys in there trying for their best. Uh, I don't know. You look at you look at Tanner. Look at him. Look at him. He's he's going to kick this other guy's butt, I think, in a second. He's got lots of these kicks. What do you think, executioner? Well, Mama, I see Tanner up there with these high flying kicks, but every once in a while it does go down and roll around on the mat, and that there is Rob Luca Relly's specialty. Is at me when I had H.C. Loke, the triangle match, going up against Shotgun Steve Hunter, and uh, who was that other fat turd burglar, uh, the, uh, the danger man? Who you formerly managed, may I say, once again? Cussing with me. Uh, well, anyway, Slam and Dan started shooting uh, some fists at me when I was, you know, root for H.C. Loke, and uh, he ended up managing a shotgun. Bob Lucarelli, he's got something. Wait. He's got something in his hand. He just hit him with it. It's a club. It? it looks like a billy club. Did Slam and Dan give that to him? I don't think so. I trust Slam and Dan. It looks like Rob Lucarelli pulled that out of his tights, attacking David Tanner with a David Tanner. A flurry of fists and kicks knocks Rob out of the ring. What's this? Coming up behind him. Watch out, David Tanner. I'm going to change my columnist. I'm going to say Lucarelli's through the back. Who's that? Oh, That's Lucarelli's trainer. His name's Hollis or something like that. I talked to him in the back. Uh, he was buying some Avion. Oh, my God. Oh, Hurricane Rana. That's not his element. What's David Tanner doing trying these moves like the executioner does? Forcing him out of the ring. He's out of line. Hollis outside the ring trying to interfere there. Slamming Dan coming in. What? He got takedown by da David Tanner. Takes oh, down crab. Slamming Dan. And a half crab. He's going to make him submit, and he's not even in the match. Incredible. He knows a lot about crabs. What's going on here, executioner? Mama, he's got him down in a half crab. He's stretching on the muscles, making a burning sensation in that there uh, little man's legs. No, I, I totally changed my decision. I, I'm going to go with Lucarelli to win the match. Did he say burning sensation? Nikolai Volkov in there. Nikolai, that's my man. Wait a minute, we're going to... Nikolai, why is he coming out there to break up that? I like that stuff. I got to go talk to him. I'll cover for you. Ellie and Slam and Dan trying to take down David Tanner. Nikolai, he knows a lot about this kind of stuff. Nikolai started off his career as an Olympic wrestler, uh, representing them their rushes and stuff. And he's got a long track record in this shoe style, fine, much like David Tanner. Now, uh, Nikolai in there showing the respect, but I don't respect that about Nikolai. That's right. Nikolai definitely starting his career back in 1970. From, from Russia, where he's from. Mama Russia, where he's from. He's, he's right there in the ring shaking David's hand. This is a disgusting display. I don't like this. I can feel the love, and it makes me want to puke. Do you know this is a little unknown fact to a lot of people, though, but uh, his very first match was against uh, the living legend himself, Bruno Sammartino. That's right. Nikolai's first match in 1970 was against Bruno Sammartino. You remember him, Sexcutioner? Um, I know it wasn't much.